Yeah, hi, my name is Mohammad Ali Gulzar and I'm a third year PhD student at UCLA. I actually graduated from Lahore University of Management Sciences, which is back in Pakistan. And I graduated in 2014. And I'm doing my PhD in software engineering. So I started off by like taking some research courses at my undergraduate university and then my advisors there, they guided me towards the whole process of applying to grad schools. I took my GRE and TOEFLs uh, like six months before the actual program, like the application, and then I applied for the UCLA. So after undergrad, did you have any work experience? No, I directly applied for a PhD after my undergrad. Yeah. So you didn't do masters? I didn't do masters. I'm doing my masters PhD together at UCLA. Together, I yeah. see. So um, what was your GRE score? Uh, my GRE was 152 and 168. So total um, around uh, out of 340, right? I think it's like 170, 170, yeah, 340. Yeah, so out of 340, 320. 340 yeah. is the maximum. That's true. Yeah. 320, okay. So, TOEFL? Uh, TOEFL was 130. I see. So, uh, did you prepare on your own for GRE? Too? Yeah, I mean, I like I prepared for a couple of months for GRE and yeah, like yeah, my lunch too. two weeks for TOEFL. Yeah. So, are there a lot of coaching institutes in Pakistan for not, GRE, not GMAT? Not really, but... Uh, Usually your professors guide you through the process, they tell you how to prepare for this uh, GRE or you like, take advice from the like senior students who are already here in the US, so they just like guide you through the process and tell you what, how to prepare, what books to read and like they guide you through the process of like doing the GRE. I see. Yeah. So um, which all universities did you apply to? Yeah. I applied to uh, UCLA, UT Austin, University of Michigan, Ohio State, uh, UCI, UC Davis and UCSD. Yeah. I see. Where on did you have admission? I had admissions from UT Austin, UCLA, UCSD, uh, UCI, Ohio State, and University of Michigan. Like oh, quite all. a lot of admissions. Yeah. So why did you pick UCLA above the others? Well, I like LA first of all. Uh, my research interests with the advisor here were uh, big of a match than the rest of the universities, and, and I really like the. Uh, what research. kind of research do you do? Uh, I do research in like systems. I build program analysis tools for big data systems. Big data systems, so That's it's true. Yeah. more like uh, data mining, data collection, data uh, organizing? Yeah, these, these systems, they do data processing on large scale data, like Spark, Hadoop, and there are like a couple of tools that are built on top of it, so we build debuggers, program analysis tools on, on for these debuggers. Okay, so yeah. um, um, what kind of advice do you have for future students? Um, first of all, uh, I think for undergrad students, they need to decide like at, at the end of the third year what they want to do. They want to go into the industry or they want to apply for grad school. And that's the time when you actually uh, start looking for the grad schools and start giving out TOEFLs and GREs as soon as possible. Like get rid of them as soon as possible. That they're just a hurdle of like uh, applying to grad school. Once you're done with that, focus on your personal statements, focus on the research that you're doing and uh, start contacting with the advisors here. Okay. Yeah. So, um, how, how, on five star, how much would you rate? How, what was your experience like? How many stars would you give? For for what? For this program, PhD program at UCLA. Oh yeah, I, I think I would definitely give it like four point five plus. Yeah. Four point five. Yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, uh, so you plan to get into faculty, like academia or industry? I haven't decided yet. I might go into faculty. I might go into industry. Did so you do any internships? I did. Yeah, I did Where? a couple of internships. I did one in NEC Labs and one at Microsoft. So most people do they get jobs from uh, campus or from networking or applying online? For research positions, like for research internship, you usually have to contact yourself. But for uh, industry jobs, yeah, you you can use these career fairs or. Uh, when like these companies come here, they usually arrange a lunch time where you can go and like talk to these people to like get hired or something. All right. So uh, thank you very much and best of luck. Thank you.